Hey everyone, here's Mark with PRGI. Uh, whew. <laughs> last night was pretty eventful. So, because of last night's, you can see Jason moving around in the background, because of last night's events and just because he's a part of our family and we're a part of his family. Uh, I introduce a man and a lady that need no introduction at all. You all know him. We all love him, but we love him a little bit more. I'm just going to tell you. Um, say hello. Hello, everyone out Fine. there. Get Good the... to have you all here at the Itigan Hall with PRGI. Uh, my homies from, uh, they've spent so much time in here. It's a pleasure to be with them tonight. We're going to do a little bit of fun investigations. Right now, we're in the basement. And... Uh, Maybe I'm, I'll talk him into coming back here later. And I think you all know this lady over here. Hey, everybody. That's good. That is the uh, Soul on Blaze, the Beth Allen, as everyone knows. So uh, it's such a pleasure to uh, have uh, you guys with us on this thing. And it's a pleasure to be sitting here with uh, PRGI because we're, we're excited about tonight. They caught some great stuff yesterday and we're hoping to continue it tonight. So hang in there, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. Honored to have you here. It's an honor. It's my honor. We, uh, we also have two guests, friends of the family, if you will, friends of Marty and Amanda. And if you guys will introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Ashley. Hey, I'm Stephanie, or as Mark lovingly calls me, not Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> I did call her by the wrong name. Nah. It, it happens. So, again, we're starting off in the basement. Um, lots of activity reported here, as those of you who have been here are well aware of. So let me get this camera turned around, because I know you want to see uh, the, man of, the man of the hour. I'm with you, David. So, we're just going to start off down here. We have a REM pod, some trigger objects. The EDI meter, meter set up, and we're just going to start asking questions. That's her noise. I just heard a woman moaning. It sounded like a woman moaning, yep. Yep, it was. Right behind me. You guys can hear the comments Hi, honey. they're making. If you, uh, can you do that again for us? Let us know you're here. That was my stomach. Okay. Would you be kind enough to tell me your name? Or come a little bit closer to us? Okay, I've got to give a special shout out to Cheryl and Hannah. Hannah, who is an awesome young lady, was here today. We had the honor and the pleasure to meet her and Cheryl. Hannah, the future of Paranormal Investigators. Glad you're with us. Anybody who's tuned in, if you have any questions you'd like Bear, one of the ladies, Jason or I to ask, please just type it in the type it in the comments. And we'll keep going. Bear, I apologize. Do, do you mind asking that question again, please? Oh, uh, not a problem. But I think if you look straight ahead by the winter kitchen, you're going to see a shadow sticking his head out because he's done it twice since we've been talking. Can you go ahead and peek at us again? Ben, we're sitting not too far from your room. How are you tonight, sir? It's a pleasure to be here with you, sharing the basement spot with you tonight. Do you have any guests with you tonight? Is maybe uh, Ann or Mama with you? Well, ladies, if you're here, would you say hi to us, please? Hopefully you guys can hear that. That's picking up vibrations. This is a solid concrete floor. And we're all in a seated position. So something is moving over there. 
If you'd like to come closer to us, please do. We also have a K2 meter stuck in between the stairs there. We'd love you to come by and tap on that if you would. Show us that you're near us. It's pretty amazing when you have that registering footsteps on a concrete floor and everybody's seated. I just heard it on here. You, you did hear it? Uh-huh. What was that? I don't know what that just went off. I don't know, but the last time I heard a bell like that scared the room and crap on me down here. That's it. It's like what it almost sounded like a battery was like a battery had drained on something, but yeah, none of our stuff makes that kind of noise. Mm -hmm. I have a phone on there. Neither mine. I've got my phone on Mine's an airplane mode. Mine's off. All right, so let's try this. We're going to do something a little bit different, too. We're going to run. We also have a K2 meter here on the steps. So um, forgot to mention, we have a small bottle of whiskey and a cigar as an offering. So, guys, please, uh, Mr. Caldwell, any of the slaves as well, I have a cigar. And whiskey down there. If you would like some, let us know in any way that you would like to. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First time we've done this here at Octagon Hall, we're going to do what we call a group EVP session. In other words, we'll take turns asking questions on the walkie-talkie. And so you'll be able to hear, you know, live and in real time, um, if something comes through. So, team, I'll ask the first question to get us started. And then I'll leave the walkie keyed for about five to eight seconds. What was that? I heard that. It almost sounded like said, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. So, we're, we're going to ask this question that Cheryl would like us to ask. Please answer this. If any of you up here made moonshine downstairs while you were living here, if you did that, let us know. Right here. Right there yeah. on the REM pod. REM pod activity. It from over here. It was right here next to Yeah, it was right here. And it moved over there. So, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's a different yes. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you <laughs> that is a definite yes. Definitely yes. I'm sure you guys saw that response. So team, I'm sure you heard it upstairs. Um, whoever is on the second floor, go ahead and key your mic. Uh, please ask the next question. Let's see if we get a response. Do we have anyone on the second floor? Okay. Is there anybody upstairs in the cupola with the two men up there right now? <coughs> Amanda, could you hear the uh, REM pod respond to your question? No, I did not hear that. Copy that. Everyone on the live heard it and saw it. So the REM pod did activate when you asked that question. 
Uh, Marty, I believe you guys are in the cupola. If you guys don't mind asking the next question, please. Now, just to let you guys know that while we've been up here, we've been doing a semi-EVP session, and according to the soldier that's up here with us, he fought in Bowling Green and then moved here. And he said that he was up here for 15 days. And that he was shot in the back of the leg. If this is true, what Marty is saying, if you experience this, can you please let us know in any way you want? Okay, let me ask another question. Mary, have you uh, swung in the tree swing? So, I'm hearing that. We're hearing, hearing movement in a library room i keep thinking like over my shoulder in here i've thought it like three times yeah so uh we're gonna ask one more question and take it back to marty's question about the soldier in the cupola so marty after this if you'll follow up with another question please to the soldier who died in the cupola were you hiding from the union soldiers Okay, Marty, go ahead and ask the next, qu next question, please. Our K2 meter went off when you asked that. <laughs> nice. And we, we are uh, videoing and recording in the other locations, so the responses will be able to sync up with the, with the live. Okay, go ahead, Marty. If you did make moonshine here, did you grow the corn in the field behind the house? Had a response. Hey, Greg, thank you. Okay, Bear's got a question. I'm just going to key the mic and uh, and let, let's see if we get a response to Bear's question. Go ahead, Bear. For the gentleman in the cupola, were you also wounded in the hand? Marty, did you get anything up in the cupola to that question? We did not get a response to that. Can I ask another one? Okay, Bear's got one more. Did you take your boot off while you were up there? That was a strong REM pod reaction to that. Anything upstairs in the cupola, Marty? Negative. Copy that. Can I add one more? 
Yes, sir. Bear's got one more. Go ahead, Bear. Did you ride with Morgan's Raiders? Is that one of y'all? Yeah. No. <laughs> I grow over my son of Brown. No, I heard. Oh, oh. I, I, I heard, yeah, I heard a male, a male like say like six words. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't yeah. you. Wow. Well, no, I, I just uh, think that was me. Okay. Yeah, it should be on the recorder. Yeah. Did you make anything else down here besides wine? Or besides moonshine? Did you make wine? Okay, we are getting REM pod, and I know it's not the walkie talkie because we are too far away from it. We have one more question down here. Frank, are you here tonight? <laughs> Having lots of interactions here, guys. I just heard something say no. Well, and we got Jason and Beth who have their headset on, earbuds in, listening um, for real time responses. Good job, Hannah. You nailed it. Amanda, go ahead on the second floor with your question, please. Okay, to the soldier in the cupola. You said that you got shot in the leg. Can you tell us which leg it was? Yeah, well, David, we had a, did have a lot last night, and I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. That was a whistle. That was a whistle. This room right here. I heard it. Something is going on. I heard it on my left shoulder. Something is going on in this room. Copy. I'm 100% sure. Yep. Um, we just heard a whistle. If you guys heard that on the live, please let us know. All of us heard it. So they're going to go check out the uh, library room. It's where we're hearing the footsteps. Yes, we we have been touched. Yes. Not in an aggressive way, though. I just heard a man's voice, too. Would you like me to come into that room? If you want me to come in and sit in that room, will you uh, make a noise to tell me that you want me in there? Did you just hear somebody yell? I didn't hear anybody. Almost like a whimper or... I heard her beep just then. Hey, Ashley. Did you hear that? <laughs> Chris, it, we just heard a female sounded like she was whimpering is the only way I can think of it if you guys heard that in live please let us know we're here let's ask this question since we heard that was that the little girl who fell into the fireplace down here yeah, that was a yes it was it was if that was you that we just heard, can you please let us know? Yeah, I have to go. Okay. 
Bear mentioned it earlier, and I have to say, I don't know if you guys have seen it, and I can't swear to it, so we'll have to review the footage and see, but it, uh, could have sworn I saw a shadow figure peeking its head out from the kitchen. Who was that? Did you hear that? I heard it. Yeah. Whoa, it said, like, it sounded yeah. like it said, I did. Yeah. So we're going to turn on the yeah. laser grid. Can you coach it again? Yeah, me too. Big time. Well, thank you for telling me you did it. It's neat. Can you do it some more? Okay, if that wasn't the little girl who fell into the fireplace, is it one of the slave children? Yes, Don, they have. Actually, today, Hannah. I just saw a shadow at the top of the steps. Oh, you did? Shadow, top of the steps. That's her movement in this library room. So why don't we do this? Since we have five of us down here right now, each one of us will ask you a question. We'll wait about Five seconds in between each question that's asked. Everybody's gonna be choking. I thought I heard a voice mm -hmm. right after you said something was choking me. Okay. I don't well, let me let me ask. It. Let me ask this. Okay, I'll ask the first question. I heard that. Did you hear that? I heard oh. that. <laughs> it sounded female. Sorry, guys. We keep hearing voices. I don't know if you guys Thank are hearing you. the voices as well. This is nuts. Okay, let's uh, let's go silent. So, and let's ask these questions. Yeah. The questions can be about anything. They don't have to follow a pattern. Okay. Um. I'm going to assume it's a man to the man that's down here. Uh, I was told that you were a little bit rude to a couple of ladies who were here earlier. If that was you and you're still here, can you let us know by knocking like this? I heard one knock. There was a knock before you knocked. I think he... Like, tapped on it a couple of times before you actually knocked. So, what is your name? Why are you so grumpy? Dini. Did somebody just knock? Yeah, that was me. It's kind of crazy they heard it all the way in the cookbook. Yeah. Right. Okay, let me find that. I heard it. Yeah, somebody. I heard it. Okay, we got a couple of knocks in response. Not immediately after I asked. Say it one more time, Marty. Yeah. What about Is immediately after I asked? No, we heard it down here, though. We also heard it, but we did not knock. Okay, so what we got, guys, is we just heard knocks and responses to the knocks we set up for them. Um, it was heard on all three floors, as well as by Marty in the cupola. So, um, Ashley, go, go ahead and ask your question, please. Uh, is there a female in the room to the right of me? I 
I just heard something. I heard. Did you bump my chair? Mm-mm. I heard like a light yeah. voice. Yeah. It was really funny. Oh, sorry, Deb. I'll try to keep you. Uh, I just heard it again. Try to keep you posted. All right. Who's, who's got the next question? Did the person in the library room just bump my chair? Thank you. No, we are not whispering, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hearing what they're hearing behind me, the whispering that's in the room over my right shoulder. And there was a noise behind me in this room. Okay. Um, who's got the next question? It's me, Bear. Are you happy that I'm down here sitting in front of your door? Let us know. Beth, are you next? Catherine, did the flower dress belong to you? I heard that. I heard that. That's like a knock. Go ahead, Jason. Did Mary Elizabeth fall into the fire or was she pushed? Was that your stomach? That was my stomach. <laughs> okay, was the what was that? Can you repeat that for me again, please? I'll ask again. Was Mary Elizabeth pushed into the fire or did she fall? Mary, why did you go into the kitchen? Were you trying to help cook? My grandson loves to help cook. Is somebody snoring? What was that loud ass noise? I'm sorry. I, I, heard I, I don't know. Weird. It was a bone or something. Hey, that's your question again. Mary, let me ask you this question one more time, please, because we were hearing somebody else talking back here. I heard a moan. Uh, David, it, the uh, signal will go out. We already tested. <laughs> Apologies, we we you want to, but we <laughs> we'll we'll pause. Mary, were you going in there to help cook? Did you help uh, cook the meals on a normal basis? Mary, were they teaching you how to cook? Okay, what about AJ? You were probably a little long to cook, young to cook, but uh, hey, my four-year-old grandson loves to help me cook. My 11-year-old grandson is a better cook than I am. AJ, were you trying to help cook? Well, whoever was down here was having a good time with me. <laughs> what happened? I got grabbed on the leg and by the sleeve of my shirt. Oh, man. 
Thank so you. now not only do we have uh, voices, whispering, footsteps, whistling and touching, uh, we just had somebody grab. <clears throat> That's her step. Or not. Her again. My left ear is starting to hurt. AJ, did you fall? Or were you pushed down the stairs? Amanda, we're coming down. We're fixing to join you on the second floor and run a voice box. Yes, go ahead, please. Mama, can you fix me a cup of coffee, dear? I love your coffee. Did you just ask me if I wanted sugar? You know, we have a song now that goes, no sugar tonight in my coffee, no sugar tonight in my tea. Who's ever heard of tea without, it's got to be sweet tea. We're from the South. <laughs> Would you like us to come back here a little bit later tonight? Yes. Yes. AJ, did the same person who pushed you down the stairs push Mary Elizabeth into the fire? All right, well, thank you for what you've given us. We're going to go upstairs to the second floor. And uh, just for those of you at home joining us live, uh, we're going to run a voice box session. Um, never know. I mean, that's all we can say. You just never know. It's going to take us just a minute to get up there. If it's okay with you guys, I'll go ahead and go up there and, and uh, talk to the rest of the team. And you guys will grab whatever we need. Get this chair out of the way. And I tell you guys, we are so stoked to have Baron Beth here with us. He is the master when it comes to Octagon Hall. So we're walking in here with the rest of the team. Amanda, are you guys still here? Yes, Cheryl, he did die. We don't know if he was pushed or if he um, just tripped and fell. But according to historical records, he fell down the stairs. I believe he was four years old. Um, broke his neck. Yeah, exactly. So while the rest of the team is making the transition... I'm going to get the voice box going. It may take just a minute, and you may not have a good picture for a second trying to do this one-handed. They're gathering up the equipment. So what this is, just so you can see, it's just a voice box allows the uh, voices of the energy to come through. It was working just a minute ago and we may have a dead battery. Very common. Hang on just a second, we're trying. 
Uh, no, Bonnie. No, good question. And I'll be honest, we don't really ask those type of questions just out of pure respect for Billy. But that's, yeah, I have often, often wondered that. And just to let you guys know, oh, yeah, if Billy is Octagon Hall. Um, so, we can't use the ghost box, so we'll use the SB box. Hey, Jason, just to let you know, the ghost box battery drain, dead. Yep, we've had three pieces of equipment go dead with batteries. So as they're coming up here to get settled, we can uh, run a little experiment on our own while they're coming up here. What'd you hear? Couldn't make <laughs> They went to go get one. It was a strange voice. I asked Beth if she heard it. And I, but I think I actually heard it and heard it through her headset. Yeah. It was that loud. It was like a discussion with two males. So while we're waiting, I've got an SB here. Something like I went out to get one. Who That's fine. <laughs> kill? Man. Xbox. Scanning. FM. Scanning. So, it died. Was, is it that kind of died? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. It was this that died. We have the same one as that one. So, we'll run this voice box for, for a few minutes. See if we're getting any responses. Let's get it triangulated and now it's scanning what we like to do is we like to let it cycle all the way through a couple of times just so we can see if there is any interference here I think it's working now well, now, Jason may have the voice box working. There we go. Now the voice box, who knows? Here we go. Touch it one more time for me. I know I've asked you a lot to do that, but uh, we'd really like to see it one more time. Just let us know that you're here. Can I ask if you're a family member of the Caldwells? If you are, would you like that up? Perhaps a soldier that was here? Possibly one of the slaves? Yes, Don. Or one of the indentured servants that just thought that they were very happy here? Are there any slaves that are with us right now that are actually buried on this property? Jason, yeah. can you set this up over there by the... 
Iowa, please. So what we've done while the voice box is going, we're asking questions. We've got a cat toy over there. We've got one right here, close to Bear, right beside his K2. And we're just gonna flood them with opportunities. We're gonna set up the mag light, the flashlight. No, Dev, no one's walking around. Please come on in. We're here in the dining room. There's a delay on the question. We'd love you to come with us. Miss Mays, did you enjoy your life here? Yeah, somebody just came down the stairs. It's Chris. Yeah, do you mind? It's hard to do with one hand. Yeah. That wasn't nobody walking because it was right in here. So that was walking around in here. All right, Cheryl is wanting to know, can we ask if Ralph is here? So is there a Ralph here? I'm hurt. Yeah. Are they okay of being here and talking with them? The That's exactly where um, I heard it when I previously I asked. Just no. Okay. I saw a flash of lights and someone, a police had someone put over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, uh, okay. Dove, you heard the walking back here in this, in this area, right behind where I was? Yeah, Chris. Yeah. <clears throat> you can turn that light off. And you can turn the light off all the way. Thank you. Sorry. Got it. They seem to like the light, but look, we have several. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. like the light? Yeah, well, All right. Good job. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, could you turn it off, please? Pull your energy all the way away. First voice we've heard. Female voice. Please turn the light off, if you would, please, so we can ask any questions. I just heard a woman's voice back there. Thank you. Okay, Bear's gonna ask the next next question. Ethel, is that you? Hi, Ethel. Back away so I can ask you some more questions, please. Pull your energy away, dear. Come toward me, if you would, please. Ethel, can you turn the light off? You need the light go off just like you know me, do. You do such a good job with it. Turn the light off now, if you would, please. I'm going to count for you. One, two, three. Turn the light off, please. Do you want to talk some more, Ethel? 
If you want to talk some more, turn the light off. Please. Then Norm, you're very responsive with that. We'd like them to be real snappy. Um, Bear, if you don't mind explaining who Ethel is. Uh, Ethel is a new lady that's come to the hall. Uh, she is here at the hall. She has a story to tell. She likes to tell it. She's been, uh, and we get so many different names here at the hall. But uh, Ethel has showed up here recently and she likes to talk about her experience here. It was not a pleasant one. Ethel was, uh, she keeps on saying that she's murdered uh, through the voice box. She'll also say that it was in the woods, out back, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, they were, uh, it was uh, men who were raping her. And if you look in front of us here, you're going to see the EMF meter also going off. Ethel, I'd love to hear more of your story. I, you'd love to hear your name, I know. I want to turn this yeah, blue I wish we had uh, another voice box going, because I know you also like to talk and communicate. Ethel, could you turn that off, please? Thank, Thank you. you. Now you got it. You're doing great, honey. Ethel, hey. go ahead and back away so I can ask you one more question. Okay. That's Ethel, come stand next to me and then go back over there when you answer the question, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Ethel did. Remember to <laughs> Every time you say your name. <laughs> Ethel, could you turn that back off, please? So the bear can ask and, you a and, question? And she goes really high. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I won't say your name this time, okay? I just want to know, um... <laughs> are you reading my mind? I think she's playing with you. Yeah, I don't know if you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Are you heard yet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, could you turn that off again, please? Thank, oh, you. thank you. Oh, oh cat toy. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ethel. Uh, <laughs> hey, play with that as long as you want. Uh, oh, yeah. Cat toy in. It's been hit twice. It's been hit twice. Yeah. Yep. Very cat very toy good. still Three going. Very good. Very good. Wow. Hey, like it, it. it keeps getting hit, y'all. The yeah. uh, cat toy keeps getting hit. Home. No. Yeah. Ethel, can you come back over here with me for a minute? And it's in a little. A little cup thing too, so Okay, all right, I get it. Come on over here, honey. Wow. I still don't know if they asked my question, I was also just uh back away one second for me if you would please, all right? And thank you so much for doing what you're doing. I know it takes a lot of energy to do that. We're gonna help tell your story. Come over here, honey. It got brighter. Oh yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Okay. The last time you didn't want me to go home. Do you remember that? You wanted wow. me to stay with you? Oh, yeah. We're going to turn the cat toy on and off again just to make sure it's not malfunctioning. Well, we're going to be here for a little while tonight, honey. So if you back away, we'll talk to you and we'd love to hear your story, okay? Okay, could you turn it off, please? Back away. Did I tell your story correctly? Why don't you like this? Yep, thank you. Wow, okay. that's a lot. Yeah. Yep. She's very strong. Yeah, she's very strong. You can stand with me while we walk around and then you come back, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone else in here besides Ethel? Okay. All right, could you turn that back off, please? Go ahead and turn it off. You got a, are you going to help him, Ethel? Whoa, wait a minute. Did anybody see the light flashing in the other room? Yeah. What was that? 
<laughs> yeah, there is a cop car. Yeah, that's like, there's something yeah. motive in this room. Right, okay. Right before y'all seen the flash of light. So yeah, we had a was, flashlight in here. Normal, movement I mean, in the like hallway. A... Flashlight coming on. Cat toy going off. Um, you may see some flashing lights. There's actually uh, someone pulled over. Here, we'll turn this into an episode of Cops. There we go. Oh, yeah, correct. It was like a spark. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you step away from the light, please? So we've got a cat toy Marty's place in here as well. All right, excellent. Catherine, is that you? Maybe put it on the back side. This is the mail with you, isn't it? Uh, can you back away from the light and I'll ask you another question? Hmm. I want to make, I don't know, I'll mention your name, but I would like to see if this, yeah, if I'm nice. correct. Put it there. Eric, Eric, is that you, Eric? If you're there, or is it Errol? Eric or Errol? Light the light up if you're there also. All right, thank you. You smell that? Yes. That's a weird smell. Were you with, uh, back away from the light, pull your energy. Ethel, will you help him pull his energy away? We'd appreciate it. Tell him how to use the light. Okay, we do. Thank you very much. Were you uh, a young, young man of the age of 50? Okay. There's that same thing again. Is it a walkie? What Could there be a walkie that? going down? No, they're all charged in fresh batteries. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, there are things going off. Oh, it's, oh, it's the mail meter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Ah. So that's what we okay. heard earlier then. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't on earlier. I just yeah, now turned it on. That was the same sound that we heard yeah, earlier. Was. So how can something that's not turned on make the sound? What did we say? Oh. Yeah. Uh, who else is with you tonight? Who else is in here? It feels like there's like, uh, back away, and I'm going to give you a number. And if it's the number that I think it is, will you please uh, let out the light? Is there five individuals in this room with you? Great, I didn't think so. <laughs> I'm going to ask it again. I'm going to give you the real number this time, okay? Can you back away, please? Pull your energy away. Help him out, Apple. I've only heard one voice come through the voice box. Yeah. So we'll turn that off. Does anybody hear a... It's the DVR. Oh, okay. Like a little whine? Yeah. Did yeah. the energy just get thicker in here for anyone? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's try something different. Thank you. We're going to turn the light off and we'll see if we can get you to react on something different, okay? Maybe I'll try you with Nethophonics later. I just heard them go, <sighs> like that's what they wanted to use. <laughs> there it goes again. What? It's almost like somebody's snoring. I've been hearing a snore. It's like going, it's like a Crowley snore. It's like somebody's like. <clears throat> like somebody struggling to breathe maybe. Yeah. Like you felt like you were choked earlier. Oh, I was definitely, something definitely had me downstairs that was gagging me a bit. Maybe they're trying to show you what 
Okay, I have a question. I uh, know that that was not one of us there. Um, Hannah played the piano for you today. Now I heard she did a lovely job. Can you, can you play? I cannot play the piano. <laughs> it said no. It said turn it off. <laughs> we just had a response. Uh, she heard it said don't and turn it off. I'm going to honor your wishes. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hear me playing the piano either. Can you do your thing? Okay, before you started talking, I did hear, it, it sounded like a uh, fire alarm or a salt detector battery going in. Like a squeak, like a squeak or something, yeah. A tweak or yeah. something. That's what, hit the, hit the second to the last white key on the top towards the dining room. Uh, something like that? Yeah, but finer. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that sharp. It could be a sound. It could be a demo. They normally hit, it's normally a higher, higher end. So. Can we just drop something? <laughs> did you hear that? Jason, did you drop anything? No, I was, I was walking. I didn't drop nothing. That was a pretty loud. I heard a whisper or something no, I heard it was back here. It seemed long. Yeah. Is there anybody upstairs that'd like to come downstairs and join us? I think that was Who's there, doctor? people out in my ear. Like yeah. I'm talking to there was a female in my ear. Yeah. I heard a giggle, but I don't know if that was like one of Amanda or not. Where are they at upstairs? I don't know where they are. I don't have my walkies. I think they went outside. And just to show you guys, if you did not tune in last night, or if you've never been to Octagon Hall, this here is a recently found crawl space. It's found in the last couple of years where Confederate soldiers hid behind the walls when the Union soldiers were marching through. Very present female. And there's a younger male in here right now. Yeah. yeah. You can't, I'm trying to think if it's Eric, Ariel, Eric. So. He has blonde hair, like a, a reddish blonde hair. Like an Irish guy. Yeah. Very clean cut. Huh. Young. Yes. I would say between. 16 and 19, yeah. 16, 20. Yeah, not over that. So just to show you guys what she's hearing, I'm going to get just a little bit closer as you can see. She's got her I got earbuds them in. She just took them off. Well, she just took <laughs> her earbuds <laughs> off, but so she's much, had... But. Because they're talking in, I'm hearing them in here, but I'm hearing them out here too. And you can see the device she's listening. It's a Zoom. With an enhanced microphone, and as I say that... Okay, two meter hits. Wow. Hello. Is that a spider? <laughs> it's fly. a fly. Yeah. That's spot, a spider a long way. There we go. We now have a new spirit at the hall. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Frisco the Fly. That was always working outside. Yeah. 
I've noticed the cat toy has not gone off anymore. If you're mad at me, turn that cat toy back on, please. When you turned the flashlight off and you said we're going to use something else, this is all I heard was... <laughs> Frustrated. Yeah. Flashlight yeah. seems to be the easiest, one of the easiest things they use to communicate. I agree. Yeah, they, they love that. Some of the other things, I've had a lot of problems with the, uh, you're using the red style. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> That's like red style. Uh, ghost box. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seems like not working that if you, if you charge the area with frequencies we're talking about frequencies right earlier yes okay? and yesterday and it seems like if you use certain frequencies that are up in the higher range and you charge the room a little bit more your responses are a lot better with ghost boxes or spirit boxes and all in a, all around generally you could do uh, uh, a round uh, table uh, uh, EVP session and or a burst, and it seems like they're they're a hundred percent more responsive than just. Not I thought I heard them talking. It, it, you, Did it, you hear it? Please help, it's yeah. a woman. Please it, I don't help. know what it was. She said it twice. Please help. Please help, it's a woman. What do you need help with? How can we help you? We'd like to help. Where are you? I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. Are you near us now? I can't understand what she said, but she's talking. Darling, we'd love to help you. Can you give me an idea of, are you from the Caldwell House during the year of the Civil War? Eighteen sixty to eighteen sixty five. I heard a voice. Are you later than that? Oh, I heard that. That's a dog. That was a dog, okay. That's a dog. Yeah. Dismissed that one. Is there something outside that's bothering the area? I heard that. Yep. I did too. It sounded almost metallic. It sounded like it was doing something there. I heard that as well. Oh. Is there anyone upstairs who would like to come downstairs and join us? We could uh, we could play with a deck of cards. Step outside. That's yeah. what you're saying. Okay. I'm getting the paint. I've got it. I've got a feeling to go outside. Yeah. The lady said, "Step outside." Okay, we're going to step outside for a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and head out there, guys. All right. Yeah. They're trying to separate us. I heard something. They may be trying to separate us. So. We'll see what happens. So I'm going to step outside. Uh, they may be joining, may not. So you can see our command central right out there. Dog barking. Okay, so now you've got me outside by myself. Like we have somebody out here at command. Is that AJ? Yeah. 
Hey, Jay, where, where, where have you been? What have you been investigating? I walked around the perimeter of the property. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I came out here, the dogs were barking. And when I came out, there was a howling. And I know you would probably say it's coyotes or whatever, but mm -hmm. it didn't sound like coyotes. And it didn't sound like dogs. The dogs were barking at it. So I stayed out here. And I've heard movement around the edges. Um, and the dogs keep reacting to it. Now, it could probably be coyotes for all we know. Uh, some of the team went out to the cemetery, I think. Okay. But it's just gone dead, pretty much. This is the summer kitchen? <clears throat> where they cooked during the hot summer months? And the winter kitchen was downstairs? Just to give you guys a visual, we have our bug tent set up. Over here, towards this way, where we had a lot of activity last night, is uh, one of the barns right back here. Then we have another barn right here. Go over there right now, the dog's going to bark and it's going to interfere with anything we try to capture. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. So, Jason, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go talk to Bear just for a second. Uh, you just watch that. So there's a shadow figure just ran right through it's there. They're saying the field. They're saying the field. The field? Hey, but I don't know. Why would that dog bark? Yeah. I kid you not. He was a full. He was a full fledged runner. All right, guys, I know it doesn't seem like it, but it's already, we've already been going a while. Okay, so before we, uh, before we sign off, I'd like to um, turn this camera around. If it'll, if it'll turn around. Here we go. If I could get this turned and it's not going to work, of course. So we'll just do it this way. So, Bear. Yes, sir. My brother, my good friend, family. I just want to give a shout out, number one, to you and the boss lady. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful people. If you have never been to Octagon Hall, you need to come and visit. And you need to make sure you talk to Bear and Beth and any of the other workers that work here. They have a wealth of knowledge about the history, not just the paranormal events, but the history of Octagon Hall. It's got a rich history, uh, Civil War, even dating back further than that with the land and whatnot. So Bear, if, if there was one thing you were gonna tell someone who has never been to Octagon Hall, what, what would you tell them? Uh, I would tell them to uh... Uh, hold on to your britches and uh, come up here and have a good time. This is a great place for a paranormal researcher to come and do research. It's not a thrill a minute place. If you sit out here with this place, you will learn to love it and it will become a wonderful place for you. This man here, his team has been here for 17 years and they come in every, every year for a two day stay and it's the greatest two years. And uh, I think that uh, he'll agree that uh, I think in Hall will surprise you. It is a supernatural place. Yes. But, it, but we'd love to have you come and enjoy us, take a tour with us. Uh, but uh, would, we'd like to have experienced teams come that are gonna do excellent work. When you do come to the Hall, we ask that you uh, don't do any provoking don't do any challenging um, the Caldwell family suffered enough tragedy 
they truly did. So treat them with respect and they're gonna be more than likely to interact with you. So, for Octagon Hall, I always end it by saying, treat everybody with kindness, but because we have the legend right here, <laughs> Bear. There's a legend right there's here. There's two legends standing together. There's two legends, legends there. there. Bear, if you will uh, close us out with, with a kind word for everyone. God bless you all. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in. Stay tuned to this man's uh, stuff. PRGI is the real thing. And uh, they deserve all the accolades that they get. Great team. If you want to learn something, Talk to Mark here, ask his team members, and they will help you get what you need to do out of the paranormal. God bless you all. Thanks again. Come down to Lockton Hall whenever you can. Have a great day, everyone.